Hello, I am Dr. B. Vinodhani. I am welcoming you all for the Compiler Design Lecture Series. In that lecture series, already we have seen the two topics of Compiler Designs. First one is a Language Processing Systems. In that Language Processing Systems uh, series, uh, how the languages, high level languages is converted into the uh, machine understandable languages through the different translators uh, we have uh, seen. And in the second uh, series, uh, we have uh, discussed about that uh, how the compilation is done through the six phases of our compiler uh, my uh, compiler input is a uh, high level language and output is a assembly level language so in that uh, series uh, we have seen that uh, um, each phases uh, functionality and how the error is detected uh, based upon that uh, compilation of uh, process so in this uh, today's lecture series we are going to see about the uh, the first phase of compiler uh, that is the role of lexical analyzer uh, in that uh, the agenda is that uh, first we have to understand that uh, the prerequisite of this uh, lecture series is that uh, the phases of the compiler and functionality of each phases. So in that uh, role of lexical analyzer already you know that uh, the lexical analysis is the first phase of the compiler designing. Uh, in that lexical analysis the lexer is a lex tool or uh, takes the input as a source code which is written in the form of the sentences and convert that sequence of characters and input into the sequence of tokens. So the lexical analyzer takes the input and read the input from left to right and convert that uh, input into into the sequence of uh, tokens. Uh, so next is uh, it breaks this syntax into the series of tokens. So in that uh, it uh, it find out that it is called as a tokenizer or scanner. This is the uh, overview of my lexical analysis functionality. So in that uh, we are seeing about the three basic terminologies is, uh, we have to know about. One is the lexing, other one is the token and other one is the pad. So what is a lexim? Lexim is a sequence of characters in my source programs. According to the uh, pattern ma uh, matching pattern of a token that uh, in, uh, lexim is identified as a token. Next is a token is a sequence of characters which is represents the unit of information in the source program. So token is a meaningful uh, character, meaningful word of my uh, lexin, lexim that could be identified based upon the pattern. So pattern is nothing but it is a description which is used to buy the token. So these three basic terminologies is required to understand the functionality of the lexical analysis. So lexim is my uh, sequence of characters of my source program and that sequence of characters are identified uh, based upon the pattern it identifies the token. So token is also the sequence of characters which represent the meaningful form of my word. So, uh, in the basic terminologies is the tokens and for example, uh, tokens it may be uh, keywords and uh, uh, it can be a keywords, identifiers and punctuation marks and uh, um, operators and what are all the things we are used my source language is called as a token. So that token is identified by the pattern uh, to uh, the tokens are generated uh, based on the pattern uh, from the corresponding lexim. So the pattern is nothing but it is a uh, rule to understand the corresponding token. Uh, for example, uh, int a semicolon means in that example uh, the int is the lexim which is in the uh, source language. So that int is identified as a uh, token of a data, it is a data type. Uh, next a is a uh, lexim that lexim is uh, identified uh, by the pattern based upon that that lexim is called as a variables and a semicolon it is a special characters so in the based upon that the lexim is identified uh, lexim is uh, scanned and that is identified uh, by the lexical analyzer as a token so this is the uh, diagram of uh, my lexical analyzer architecture. So in that uh, we have a lexical analyzer. So the input of my lexical analyzer is the source program. So the lexical analyzer reads the source program 
uh, from left to right and identify and generate the tokens so that token is the output of my lexical analyzer that token is given input to the parser so uh, based upon that token it generates the parse tree suppose in in the, in the generation of that uh, uh, in the mean of gen in the at the at the time of generation it requires any token means it requested the uh, corresponding token to the lexical analyzer again the lexical analyzer generate the tokens this is the way how my uh, source program is converted into the token and converted into the uh, parse tree so in between for that generation of the token it uh, refer the symbol table so the symbol tables entry is updated in the lexical analyzer and also the parser so that is a important data structures that symbol table store all the uh, variables and identifiers and terms which are used my source program that information is given into the symbol table so the get next token is a command which is sent from the parser to the lexical analyzer based upon that um, command it generate the tokens so not only it uh, so the so based upon the two slides uh, so what is the role of my parser so the role of the parser is that that are the task of the parser is that it helps to identify the tokens into the symbol table and um, it removes the white spaces and commands from the source program and also it uh, in the correlate and uh, intimate the error messages in the source programs and also it helps to expand my the macros which is found in the source program and and read the input characters from the source program and produces the tokens these are all the basic task is performed to my lexical analyzer for example consider the left side you have a source code uh, the each source code for all the source code the right side it is converted into the tokens for example hash include and uh, less than studio dot h and go greater than then next one is a uh, int int is a to uh, int is a keyword and the maximum is a identifier so based upon that the left side source program is converted into the uh, tokens in terms of based upon the the pattern uh, which is uh, described in my uh, compiler so this is the way my uh, lexim is converted into the tokens so i hope uh, and also in that uh, it uh, I, i the task of lexical analyzer we have seen that it uh, indicates the error messages also so that uh, the maximum the lexical errors are uh, it is a user uh, typing errors based on the user typing it is the error is generated so the uh, lexical uh, lex in the based upon the lexical errors the error recovery mechanism is uh, uh, there is a routine for error recovery so on that error recovery routine it uh, rectify that lexical errors so what are all the error recovery means it removes the own case suppose you, so maximum it is a typing error we can add the error recovery routine it can remove own character from the remaining inputs so it is a in the panic mode most of the error recovery routine is called as a panic mode so in that panic mode the successive characters are always ignored until we reach the well formed tokens so uh, in the error recovery mechanisms only we are adding deleting and replacing the characters based upon that the error is rectified in the lexical phase i hope you understand that what is the role of lexical analyzer how that uh, lexim is converted into the tokens based upon that uh, uh, lexical analyzer uh, works and and also how the lexical analyzer uh, reports the error messages uh, these are all the task done by the lexical analyzer thank you